Hey parents, this art lesson is sponsored by Paramount Pictures for the movie Pause of Fury. Hadley, who are we gonna draw today? Emiko from the movie Pause of Fury. Yeah, she's the cute little cat that's super uh, strong. Strong, mm -hmm. yeah. And she can fight really well. Yes. The sword was like bigger than her, and she was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I especially like that Emiko's really small, but also very strong. Yeah, I like that too. <laughs> I also like that Hank was not trained at all and was just kind of clumsy. But mm -hmm. then Emiko would come in and she was super brave. Yes. <laughs> Parents, the movie Pause of Fury is out early and you can watch it at home today. All right, Hadley, are you ready to draw Emiko? Yes. We hope you're going to follow along with us. You need your drawing supplies. We're going to use markers. You also need some paper and... Something to call it. Yeah. You ready to start? Yes. We're first going to start by drawing her little nose. We're going to draw a little curve in the middle of our paper. I'm going to draw it right about here and we're going to draw just a really small nose. <laughs> And then we're gonna draw the bottom of her nose. We're gonna come down and back up. Now let's draw her eyes. And she has really big eyes, super big eyes. Mm -hmm. We're gonna start on each side of her nose. Let's put a little guide point. So we're gonna put a point here and a little point here. We're gonna, those are not her eyes. Those are just guide points. Those are really big eyes. <laughs> really big eyes, yeah, those are <laughs> super small. <laughs> now we're gonna, we're gonna draw the top of her eye first and we're gonna draw a big upside down U shape. So we're gonna start here on this point. I'm gonna turn my paper sideways. So we're gonna come up like this. We're gonna come around and then we're gonna come back down. And then we're gonna draw the same shape on the other side. We're gonna come up, around, and back down. Yeah, and then another one on the other side to match. And then let's connect the bottom. So we're gonna draw the bottom of the eye curving like this and connecting over to the other side and the same thing over here connecting to the other side. So we have these two gumdrop shapes for her eyes. Now let's draw the inside of her eyes. We're gonna draw big circles to fill up these gumdrop shapes. And we want this circle to touch in the top right of this eye. So I'm gonna start here. We're gonna draw a circle that comes around like this. And we're gonna connect back where we started for her first eye. And then we can draw the inside of her eye. Let's draw another circle that is smaller inside. And then let's draw the same eye or the same circles over here on this side, but we're gonna touch in the top left of the right eye. So we'll start here and we want these to try to match. We're gonna try to draw these the same size, come around like this and then connect. And then we'll draw another circle that's smaller inside for the pupil. Yeah, and then inside of the small one, we're gonna draw a smaller circle for the highlight in the top left of each circle. And then let's color in the pupil. This part will fast forward, so remember to pause the video and take extra time to color in your eyes. Now let's draw her eyelashes. We could draw a little curve, well, three little curves on the left, and then three little curves coming out on the right. Now let's draw the shape of her head. We're gonna draw two more guide points. Let's draw them for her cheeks. We're gonna come out here, straight out from her eye and add a guide point there. And same thing over here, guide point on the right side. And then we're gonna connect these two points with a curve for her chin. So I'm gonna start here. We're gonna come down for her chin. We're gonna come across like this and then we'll come back up over for her other cheek on this side. Yeah, and then let's also draw her mouth. We're gonna draw it right underneath her nose. We're gonna draw it about this big, a little smile. And we could also add another little line so that her mouth is open. <laughs> Okay, now let's draw the top of her head. We're gonna start here and we're gonna come up over her eyes. I'm gonna extend maybe this little cheek line out just a little further on each side so that we have more room for the little cheek fur. And we're gonna, we're gonna start here and we're gonna curve up over her eyes. So we're gonna come up like this. We're gonna come over her eyes and over her forehead 
and we're gonna keep going over to the other side. So then we're gonna start here and we're gonna match this coming down too. I'm gonna to turn my paper sideways so I can kind of see where I'm going and then connect it over to her other cheek. Yeah, that's perfect. Now we could also draw her eyebrows and she has kind of big eyebrows. So I'm gonna start over her eye. We're gonna come over and then connect to the side of her head and the same thing over here. So draw over her eyes and then connect down. Then let's draw these a little thicker. We're gonna draw little curves on the inside of each eyebrow. And then let's draw the bottom of her eyebrow coming like this and then coming and connecting to the outside of her head. Same thing <laughs> on this side. Isn't that cute? Yeah. I like her eyebrows. <laughs> and then let's color in those shapes too. What is she missing? Her ears. Yeah, her ears. She doesn't look like a cat yet. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start here, right above her eyebrow, and we're gonna draw a diagonal line that comes out and up to the left. So come out this way, and it curves up to the left, and then also gonna draw that same kind of line coming down on the right side. Now she looks like a bug. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> And she has really tall ears, so we're gonna, uh, maybe could even extend this a little bit more. I love that we're filling up the whole paper and she's like the smallest character in the whole movie. <laughs> now we're gonna draw a curve that comes down like this and then we're gonna curve into her head. And we could do the same thing on this side. We're gonna curve down and into her head. That ear is way bigger than the other Yeah, ear. I love it. My <laughs> ear over here is a lot smaller too. And we could change this. Maybe this ear is turned differently. So let's draw the inside of her ear too. I'm gonna draw another curve that comes down like this and we're gonna curve into the head. And then we're also gonna draw the outside curve that matches. Look how close I am to the edge on this side. Yes, and then on this side, let's draw the ear a little bit different because maybe it's turned. So I'm gonna draw, look how thick that is. So we're drawing it different than this ear because it's turned sideways. And then over here, we're gonna draw, so this is the inside of the ear, it's the pink part, but this one's a lot thinner and looks different. It's not symmetrical because this one's turned. I love when cats do that in real life or dogs do they that, where they turn ears. one ear, yeah. <laughs> It's really cute. Okay, now we're ready to draw her body. Let's draw, and she has a really small body. We're gonna draw two lines coming down from her chin. So we're gonna draw one coming down like this, and then we'll draw another one that matches. And towards the bottom, I'm getting a little thicker. Yeah. And then let's connect those two lines together at the bottom. Then we can draw the wrap that goes around her waist, or her, that looks like a, a belt. So we'll draw two lines in the middle. Then how her robe is folded in the middle, we'll draw two diagonal lines coming this way. And then let's draw two diagonal lines coming the other way. And then down here, let's draw another two diagonal lines cutting across. Now let's draw her feet. We're just gonna draw two simple U shapes sticking out from the bottom of her robe. We we'll draw one on the left side and then one over here on the right side. Then we can also add two little toe lines on each foot. And let's draw her arms next. We're gonna keep it really simple. We'll draw a diagonal line that comes down and then we're gonna connect into where her waist or belt is. And then let's add an extra line for the end of her sleeve. And then let's repeat that same step for her other sleeve or her other arm. And then we can draw that extra line at the end of the sleeve. Okay, let's draw her hands sticking out from the sleeve. We'll draw a little curve connecting into her body on both sides. And then an extra small one that matches for her thumb. Now what is she missing? Her tail. Her tail. We're gonna draw a little curve coming out from her arm. Then we're gonna curve around and we can add little bumpy lines connecting back in. 
Hadley, we did it! We finished drawing Emiko. She looks really cute, except we're not completely done. We still need to color her. Yeah, this part will fast forward, but at the end, you can pause the video to match our same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. Hadley, we did it! We finished drawing and coloring Emiko, and she turned out super cute. I especially love how she looks all colored in. Yeah, I hope our art friends will color their drawings too. We used our markers to color with, but you can use whatever you have at home, like crayons or even colored pencils. Or even paint. Oh, that would be super awesome. Mm -hmm. Watercolor. That would be a lot of fun. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing Emiko from the movie Paws of Fury. We do. We hope you had a lot of fun. And remember, it's okay if your drawings look different than ours. Both of our drawings look different, but they both turned out awesome. Mm -hmm. The most important thing is... To have fun. And to... Practice. Practice. Remember to practice. Parents, remember, Paws of Fury is out today on digital. Yeah, you can watch it at home today. We also want to say thank you to Paramount Pictures for sponsoring this video. We love drawing with you, and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye! Bye.